similar with, with apps. So you can sort of see someone using loops with their voice and you can see a more physical version of what we're going to be doing online. So she's making sounds and recording them just really quickly, and then all of the buttons she's playing are playing it back to her. a lot in groups and on the experiential learning in this one. Um, and we're going to go into assessment afterwards, so I think we're probably good to go into teacher mode, so I'm going to walk you guys through some stuff before we get started. So, hello everyone. Now that we watched that really great video of loops, we're going to show you guys how to use some loops of your own. So if you have your laptops open, and you have GarageBand open, I'm going to show you how to Get started. So go to the loop section. I'm going to choose that. And yeah, you can create your fun. We're going to leave a tempo there for now, but it's important to know where that is because later on we're going to give you some time to experiment, but we're going to be coming around with some questions on where you can find things like tempo or dynamics or all the other elements that we've been working on. Once we get into our groups, we're going to kind of see where we can find them. But we're going to show you quickly just how to get started. So over here, if you're following my mouse, yes. <laughs> um, you can see all of the different uh, things you can choose from. So you can either go by genre, or by instrument, or by sound. So you have a lot of options in here. So we would like you to, for your, um, when you're playing around with it, to get something that would bring in a beat. So you can use drums for that, um, some kind of percussion, something with a string, so guitar, violin, anything like that, and then one wind instrument, and you can choose if you'd like to do um, a woodwind or a brass, that is up to you, but those three are the ones we're going for. So you can get into it, let's say we want to start with um, the beat, so I can choose, yeah, we can start with a club dance beat, <laughs> see what that's going to sound like, I should plug this right back in. Yeah. <laughs> so 
So it can be pretty silly, but you can have a lot of fun with it. So can I just get a hands up of if you have your laptop and it has GarageBand on it? One, two, three. Okay. So we're gonna have mine? Yeah, so we can have this one and we can have someone come up here onto this computer as well. I'll plug mine in. You'll plug yours in? Okay. So should I count to five or six? I guess so six. Five and we'll leave this one up here. Okay. So if you want to, yeah. So Caitlin, you're gonna be number one. Alright. Hands up again. Two, three, four, and then this laptop here is gonna be number five. So, if you get counted off, you'll meet your person. If you're a one, Caitlin. All right. You're two, Melissa. You're three, Kaya. Four, Becky, and five. You're gonna come up here. All right. Okay. Count two, two, three, four, five, six, three, five, one, two, three, four, five, one. All right. So you have some time. We'd love it if you could make them. Probably ten measures. With percussion, with strings, and with either a brass or a woodwind. Yeah. Okay, friends. Let's go ahead. What would you guys? If you have headphones, I agree, but I don't send your books, and that might not be possible. <laughs> If you feel comfortable at the end of our little exploration, you can present your song to the class. But no pressure, if you just want to play around, that's okay too. You Okay, we'll just distribute. I'll go here. Oh, because it's good. Okay, so we're going to do the last one. Do you know what kind of song we're going to Alright, so on the board it says you're going to look for some kind of percussion, your strings, and your wind. So other than that, the Freedom Explorer, we're going to come around and ask some guiding questions. Let's start with the... Uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm just wondering, I took you to the next time, I don't know where to go. Would you? Oh, yeah. Cool, so you can see how you can add these elements that you've been working on. Yeah. So, feel free to keep going. Or do I have a yellow one? That's okay, we can do that.
Does anyone want to share their pieces so far? I know we've only just started working on it. Oh, yeah. You guys? Is all right. Everyone ready? <laughs> <laughs> Can everyone practice really good listening skills? Can I need you guys to, like, get some notes ready? Yeah. That's really good. <laughs> oh, it's not open. <laughs> <laughs> nicer to get that information when you're in a group and you're working versus at the beginning when you're like a little overwhelmed. And I also love that when you guys were like demoing how to do it, you kind of chose ridiculous sounds yeah. so that like it showed you don't have to make like a song that sounds like the songs you hear and also you can work together like you were both communicating like no that's silly or we could do this. like you modeled working as a group to figure out the sound of it. I really like that um, you gave expectations, so you have to have something from the internet that was streaming and stuff like that. So then they have like a few guidelines, but they can add more in. I, I really like that. Really good thing. Thanks. Any any wishes? What can we improve on? Probably like time. I can tell you guys had lag off, so be good. Yeah. <laughs> um, your initial startup when you were like, make sure you remember where that was. Yeah. I had no idea what you were talking about. Okay. So just like slow down on that first, like clicking here, clicking here. Okay. Just. That gives all the kids kind of a starting ground. Yeah. Yeah. Just to go on that, you could wait to do the clicking 